what's up guys this is shukesh once again and well i just unpacked the all new iphone 6s plus and i'm just blown away by the speed of the interface i've been using the iphone 6 for the last one year and it's a very swift and responsive phone beyond doubt now the thing is smartphones actually slows down after days of uses especially android devices are prone to lag on my previous speed test, I've seen comments that unlike Android, iOS devices doesn't get slow after years of uses. So I wanted to do a speed test in between this year old iPhone and a fresh new iPhone that is the iPhone 6s plus here. I've seen Samsung flagships getting damn slow even after 6 months of uses. So let's see what happens here. No need to mention there is a slight improvement in this new S model in the CPU, GPU and especially in the RAM but that should not impact the speed of the interface that much. The iPhone 6 is still very swift and uh, compared to most of the Android devices it's doing pretty well. I have also uninstalled the heavy third party apps and games from this iPhone 6 to give it an age. So let's get started with this speed test and see whether the year old iPhone 6 can keep up with the fresh new iPhone. You can also get an idea about how much Apple actually improved their new iPhone 6s and 6s plus. Well guys, I'll start with the fingerprint sensor and as you know on the new S model, the touch ID sensor is much improved version 2.0. So let's see what happens. Well, visibly the new Touch ID sensor on the 6s model is much faster. You can't even have a proper glance of the lock screen which some of you might not like actually. Just a single tap on the home button actually unlocks the phone. So if you want to check your notifications on the lock screen, you need to use the power key. So the new S model is the sheer winner here and I really don't blame the year old iPhone 6 for the slower response. It's the hardware. Well, next I'll do the boot test. Now I'll switch on the phones and let's see what happens. Well as you can see the screen of iPhone 6 actually goes off faster. Now let's wait and check the boot time. Well the iPhone 6s plus is ready as expected and it took around 15 or 16 seconds. On the other hand the iPhone 6 is still booting and it makes sense because there are lots of data, lots of messages, contacts, photos etc. It took around 25 seconds to boot. This wasn't obviously the case when I first bought the phone around one year ago so long term uses extends the boot time. Next I'll try some system applications like the dialer, messaging, camera etc. Let's start with the dialer and well the iPhone 6s plus is visibly faster. The iPhone 6 had to load the recent call logs so let's delete the list and do the speed test once again. Well I think this time it's a tie. The old iPhone 6 takes the same time as the new iPhone 6s plus so that's nice to see. Next let's try the messaging app. This time also I think it's a tie or almost close. Let's delete all the messages from the iPhone 6 and try again. I don't know why this time the iPhone 6 actually took some time to load the keyboard. But still I think it's a tie considering the previous result. Well next let's try the camera. The new 12 megapixel camera on the new iPhone 6s Plus is significantly faster. There is no doubt in this regard. I will also try the galleries as well. The iPhone 6 is loaded with photos so let's check whether that slows up the photo app as well. Well I think the difference here is quite negligible considering iPhone 6 is loaded with hundreds and thousands of photos so kudos to Apple for making iPhones that doesn't get slow after long term uses. Other applications like calculator, calendar also open at the same time. This is definitely not the case for most of the Android devices. Now regarding third party high end games and apps, the new iPhone 6s will show slightly better result of course. The RAM is double this time that is 2GB and the GPU is also hexa core. The processor also improved significantly. But in the interface both the phones are almost equally responsive. There is no shutter experience, no lag or hiccup on this year old iPhone and it's as fast as new. 
I am not biased, I don't like a lot of things about iOS but in long term uses, the iPhones will provide you much better service, mainly because the applications and the interface are specifically designed for these devices whereas anyone can make Android phones nowadays which is making things messy. The custom interfaces are actually bottlenecked to the stock Android so if you care about longevity and speed, you should look for the Nexus devices in case of Android. For iOS, I think any iPhone can give you smooth experience even after years of uses. The 3D Mark score of the iPhone 6 is 17448. Here is the breakup, you can pause and check. The new iPhone 6s Plus managed to score 28286 on the 3D Mark Gamers benchmark. There you get the breakup. Guys, this is the end of the speed test. I hope that you have found this video very interesting and helpful. There are lots of videos coming up on this iPhone 6s Plus so make sure you are subscribed and you can check the channel for a speed test in between this iPhone 6s Plus and the Galaxy Note 5. Thanks a lot for watching, keep in touch and have a nice day guys.